Hey guys, welcome to Off the Great Wall. It's Mike. It's Dan. And it's Mia. So today we're going to be talking about an, a topic, an issue that a lot of people have sent us questions about. And, it's one of my uh, favorite topics. Yeah, it is one mm -hmm. of your favorite topics mm -hmm. uh, because this is kind of deep. So uh, us being Asian, um, especially us growing up um, in non-Asian countries, or you grew up in Indonesia. In Indonesia, right? yeah. So I can't, I could relate to this topic, really. Mm, nice. Yeah. And then you spent a lot of time in, in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in, in the Midwest, and Dan represents more of a urban climate. Um, yeah. the, there's a lot of a lot of times we get these questions about okay, so I'm Asian, um, but I grew up in a Western environment, environment. Mm -hmm. and I don't identify with anything because right. uh, my parents see me as maybe Asian or you know whatever. Mm -hmm. My friends see me as Asian, mm -hmm. or the society or sees me as as Asian. Yeah. But then I kind of grew up around a right. Western environment where I identify myself more with them. Right. And, and this is a problem. What, what Mike's talking about is identity crisis. Asian okay. identity Asians. crisis. Asian identity crisis. And I think a lot of uh, people in America, a lot of Asians go through it. Did you? Yeah. Definitely went through it. You're still going through that now. Now. <laughs> for you, when did you start feeling the identity crisis coming on? Um, for me, like, I've always known that uh, I'm Chinese. Think about the environments I grew up in. Right. Minnesota, right. Iowa, Missouri, Missouri, mm -hmm. Illinois, Tennessee. Yeah. All my friends were white. Right. I thought I was white. Right. Well, my friends didn't see me as white. They saw me as this Chinese kid. Very my parents Chinese. saw me as Chinese. So right. when I was with my parents, I could only speak Chinese. Right. Uh, they would teach me the Chinese language. Heck, they sent me back to China. Yeah. So to study the language? No, to punish me. To Disciplinary. Punish. Yeah. Disciplinary. It, it was actually a punishment. There, yeah. You know, most people get sent to their rooms. I didn't have a room, by the way. <laughs> so my parents were like, we're going to send you to China. China. <laughs> when I was in China, I was in a whole new set of identity right. crisis. So I was like there. Was when I was in China, yeah. right. When I was in China, I thought you I was Chinese. You were neither Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the Chinese did. there didn't did. think yeah. I was Chinese. Right. They thought I was, they called me La White. Right. We're all so confused people here. When I came back to the U.S., I was very proud of my Chinese heritage because I loved okay. what I what I saw in, Lin, newly in China. You're found Chinese. Yeah, so I heritage. came back to Chi uh, the U.S. I was 15 back. when I came back. Oh, and then I was like, yeah. I'm Chinese. Uh, but of course, everyone else still saw me as Chinese. Let's say people who grew up in, in the U.S. sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say from a Chinese background. They grew up, you know, they assimilate to kind of the, uh, you know, Western culture. Right. So a lot of people do. They, they feel like, you know, I'm white or I'm whatever. Right. So they kind of, that's who they felt they are. But when they go home, that's a whole different story, right? Mm -hmm. The family dictates a, a whole different climate right. environment. Then let's say they ever in their mind decides that, okay, well, let me explore mm -hmm. my right. heritage. And they go, go to China right. or go anywhere else. They don't see them as Chinese. No. And a lot of times, yeah. you know, so yeah. we're exactly is a major. Where do I fit in? That's the question. Well, that, well, so what I would say about that is, you know, that, that's human nature to look for where you fit in, but that, that could also be your biggest enemy because you're gonna, you might be searching for this for a while because you're relying on someone else's view of you to determine who you are, if that makes sense, right? I feel like one of the things you can do to help yourself is not search for answers outside because you determine who you are. What I would do is start being like, not looking with outside, but basically asking yourself like, hey, if you're interested in your own culture, whether you get sent back or like you go back yourself, like explore that. I don't know yeah. how, uh, how you would uh, ta answer some of that for other people. Well, I think it's it's different for everybody. Like I said, the degree of how isolated you feel mm -hmm. or how much of a identity crisis you feel differs from person to person. Right. Those of you who are kind of going through this, I actually felt kind of special. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, you know what? I know about my heritage, which is awesome. Right. I grew up here, so I know about this culture, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, I have the best of both worlds. Right. What people are going through are also related to where they are, unfortunately. Right. Right. Because if you're in smack middle of Wisconsin and you're like a, you're like an Asian, you mm -hmm. know, you're like a Chinese background Asian trying to fit in over there. Yeah, sometimes it might be a little tough. Not picking on Wisconsin, but right. I'm just saying I came from the Midwest, so some of those environments are pretty tough. In New York, it, this is one of the most diverse cities yeah. in the world where nobody bats an eye. You're, you're basically, nobody cares about race in this city, really. It's just like, you're a New Yorker. So mm. Mm, that's who you are. The Asian identity crisis affects different people in different ways. Absolutely. So a lot of people- In different know, stages of life right. too. Right. Yeah. Right. And some people, it's really hard for them to get over that. They're like, well, right. I don't belong anywhere. So I feel completely isolated. I wasn't uh, one of those people who really 
felt a lot of negativity oh, okay. from going through the identity crisis. Although gotcha, I had gotcha, an gotcha. identity yeah, crisis, yeah. I knew I had an identity right. crisis. Mm -hmm. It didn't really bother me that yeah, much. I don't know yeah. if that makes sense. No, it, dude, it makes sense. Cause for, like you said earlier, for some people, it, it really bothers them. And what we see like with a lot of our viewers and the questions coming in, if you didn't exactly find out who you are and you're still searching, it get to me, it gets worse and worse because now you're getting older and older. And what happens is uh, you should move on to the next stage of your life, which is, you know, career goals family but then you're still like in this situation where like who am I yeah where do I belong so yeah. when you still have these questions you're entering college to me that's like it's hard because you're dealing with two different things I think it's time. okay though because the key word here is should you mm -hmm. should find yourself at a certain stage in your life right but then not a lot of people or we all have different timelines right 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 and to me like the process of finding yourself is a continuous thing like definitely, you just constantly definitely. try to find about yourself trying to get to know yourself mm -hmm. and yeah. trying to get to know who you are right did you go through some of this uh, identity crisis growing up in Indonesia where you're Chinese sure. but you look oh, yeah, kind of yeah. like everybody else yeah no right? No, 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 I think do 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 because I think Indonesians they're more uh, like darker skinned. Yes, than they you. have darker skin. Like the in, like people who grew up there, born there. Yeah. And you're more, you're not the clearly Chinese you're Chinese. Indonesians. Yeah. That's right. So they can clearly tell that you're Chinese. You're not Indonesian. Okay. And do they label you like, oh, she's a Chinese Indonesian? Of course. I was born in Indonesia. And I right. grew up in Indonesia, so I felt like an Indonesian, right? Right. But at the same time, you're I'm not what? really Indonesian. I'm like ethnically confused. So what were some of the differences? though like between Ch Indonesians and Chinese well we, we still observe some of the Chinese cultures in our family okay. and my parents are still pretty traditional so that's okay. different from a lot of other people okay so even though you don't want to admit it that social acceptance factor is still there as much as you want to like just look inside and just do whatever you want to do what other people think of you yeah. still plays a factor right yeah I think I think to an extent I mean like I was gonna ask you like so you you came to America so you had a identity crisis not a crisis but issue back in Indonesia your mm -hmm. home country mm -hmm. and then you moved to America mm -hmm. and then what happened because that must be another that's another experience an, in yeah so did you deal with identity crisis once you moved here or um, issues not really. It wasn't an identity crisis or anything like that because I was older. I was in okay. college at the time, and I you were just starting college, exactly. Right. And then it's in California, so right. Going back to what Mike said, your environment exactly. kind of dictates. It, it does help a little right. bit, but then again, after I spent some time here in the U.S., mm -hmm. coming back to Indonesia is also like a reverse culture right. shock experience. Right. For me, it didn't really affect me that much. I definitely went through it. Right. But you know, kind of like you, I'm like, you know what? If you don't accept me. I don't really care. Right. Yeah. But I feel like most of the people out there, if they have that, because everyone's different, right? You have different personality yeah. traits. So the people that are like us who who go through it, to me, I'm I think they'll be okay. I think I wanna speak to the people who they it's so hard. Like yeah. they have problems figuring it out. Yeah. I think one of the only solutions is you you gotta really stop uh, worrying about what other people think of you. You know, because me and you, we do that automatically. We're like you're not my friend, that's fine. I'll go find friends somewhere else. Even like from our parents too, yeah. like me and me and Mike, I don't know about you, but we're able to s not distance ourselves from our parents, but we're able to be individuals mm -hmm. outside of our parents. Mm -hmm. That's made our lives a little easier growing up, I think. I agree. I mean, sometimes we have to agree to disagree right. with other people's opinions of ourselves. So mm -hmm. I guess worrying what other people think of you can get really exhausting, right? right? At the end of the day, it's do you feel happy about who right. you are? There's nothing wrong with being unique yeah. and different. I think that in today's age, it's celebrated. A lot of that yep. is celebrated. Yeah. Like if you're from different cultures, different backgrounds, yo, don't don't look around and, and, and think that, okay, maybe I don't fit in here or I don't fit in there. Mm -hmm. You stand out and that's not a bad thing. Growing up in the West, it's celebrated to be unique. Right. But in the East, you want to come, it's Eastern society teaches you to conform. Yes. Do you agree with that? Uh, to a certain extent, yes. Okay. Like I said, it's where we grew up is mm -hmm. different than what kids are going through these days. That's kids, true. Kids are on Facebook at the age of eight or whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know? <laughs> like, so like born with an iPad. Well, in what I'm saying is that I think it's really important to have peers right. stand up for you or mm -hmm. talk you through a lot of the stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which I think is very important about you know what our show does. Right. Because Definitely. we're able to speak about these topics. Right. Yeah. But I think like you go through a lot of the Asian identity when you're in my experience when you're a little older, maybe middle school to high school, even in the Midwest. When I was right. young, all the kids we played with each other. They didn't care who I was. Nobody right. cared who anybody was. But that was back then. Maybe it's different now. But like as kids, 
grow up and become more conscious of their background and their heritage, and they want to explore more of that, I think that's when they kind of realize, okay, so I am a little different here. Then I go back to where I'm from. I'm a little different over there. Mm-hmm. I think that's when a lot of this stuff starts. Nowadays, this stuff, when you stand out, when you're different, that's celebrated. Well, nowadays right. being different is the norm. Right. So there's nothing wrong with that. There's right. nothing wrong with not fitting in into a certain group. Right. And I don't think like you have to be worried about not fitting in. I think whatever you want to explore, whatever culture you identify with, whatever you want to do, that's your prerogative, right. and you should pursue that. For me, for the people that feel like it's hard to do that,、um, my suggestion would be, you know, it could be stemming from when they're young. That's basically my point. Is what we're talking about now. I feel like it's something we can do at, even in your late teens. Like you got the internet, you can find a group that you you do identify with, or you can. There's so much information out there for you. I'm just speaking to the Asians. I feel like when they get to a point when they're older, their parents can't really do much for them at that point.、Mm-hmm. And now I feel like what you're saying, when you're when you're older, forget about you know. Try to realize that you are an individual and you don't need acceptance from certain people. Look, right? If everybody in the world loved whoever you know, regardless of what they look like, where they're from, then we don't have to struggle at all. That's right. And I. I think you know it's everybody's responsibility.、Definitely. It's the parents' responsibility.、Definitely. It's also people like ours'、ah, mm-hmm. responsibility.、Definitely. If we're influencers and you know we consider we consider ourselves that, or anybody like you know your role models of you know all sorts of genres,、right. then we all have a responsibility to you know talk about being tolerant, talk、right. about. Uh, celebrate differences.、Yep. So I think that's what we want to do in this video as well,、right. because we have a lot of viewers who are young, right?、Um, and that's what we're trying to tell everybody. You know, being different is cool. One analogy I like to make is like a lot. So let's say you're a shape, and you're basically trying to find where you fit in, right? So a lot of times you, when you're going through life, like let's say you're a circle,、um, you're not, and you're faced with a square peg. A lot of people worry because they're like, I'm not fitting in here. I'm not fitting in here. Eventually, imagine. There will be a piece that fits you. Don't let these obstacles determine who you are now. That's kind of word of advice, Mia. Word of advice. I mean, you were talking about the you're as you're a circle, right? right. But then your your shape kind of changes throughout the. That's true too. too. Exactly. So I'm. I mean, it will come to a point where you come to terms with who you are, and it's a process. I'm not saying that it's an easy process.、Right. At the same time, you'll get there. Think about all the benefits you'll gain from all this, you know, the, coming up with inner strength and the richness of who you are. And、uh, you know, in the long run, it'll be okay. I was called Lao Wai in China. Yeah. Yeah. Do I look like a Lao Wai in China? I mean, this is a perfect example. We have three <laughs> Asian Americans, you can say, and、yeah. we all went through so many different things, and we're all here today. We're all around the same age, and you know, we're, we're, we can help hopefully send a positive example for you guys. Also, I think I look Tibetan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Dude, I've、sure. got I've gotten、uh, Mexican before. Really? I, I have, have you? I had Jackie Chan long hair one time, and、oh, I was.、Yeah. Really, Did you have a sombrero? I had no, but my I was out in the sun one summer, and I was so dark,、oh. like darker than Mike, and Mike is dark. I've you know it's pretty boring, but I've never gotten anything、oh, okay. like that. It's either、right. Korean or Japanese, but then when they start hearing me talking in this foreign Indonesian language, they can't figure it yeah, out. They're like, like, what? What is that? So we all have. <laughs> You know, confusing aspects、exactly. to ourselves. Then we're okay with that. Yeah, and like I want to, what you said before, embrace the individuality. You yes, you're special. We're all special. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let us know、uh, your thoughts about this topic in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. See you later. Later.